Severe weather that scared Sam Childs as a kid grew to fascination and now the focus of PhD work. I just wanted to turn that fear into just more knowledge. At Colorado State's Atmospheric Science Department, he's looking at tornadoes and hail trends. His work is funded by the National Science Foundation. Try to project the human risk from both tornadoes and severe hailstorms um, out to the end of the century. Southern Colorado inserted into his work last summer with the multiple disastrous hailstorms. To have three events in one county that produce like baseball sized hail or three inch hail or larger um, is very rare for the state. Rare, but data shows it becoming more common. There's the damage numbers, but that can be deceiving because more people are moving to the state and that increases reports of damage. The other more concerning thing that at least I've found for this area is that the proportion or the percent of hailstones that are reported are larger. Hail decades back was an inch to an inch and a half. Recent storms have produced two, even three inch diameter hail. Childs is working on finding why. Warmer air at the Earth's surface could be pushing freezing zones higher. He's also drawing on the work of colleagues who are looking at more intense storm fronts that may have stronger updrafts keeping hailstones up longer so they get larger. The information has social impact on groups like farmers and a safety factor for everyone. To kind of alert people and meteorologists and say, hey, we might be entering a time where there's going to be a greater risk of some of these damaging hailstorms.